बढ़िया बढ़िया हम भी चले गए यार सर <laughs> के तो सारे चले हैं जब बैठेंगे अभी <laughs> इसीलिए मैंने सर को रिक्वेस्ट किया मैं खाना सर आप जरूर बहुत बढ़िया किया बहुत बढ़िया किया डॉक्टर अशोक क्या कोई गाड़ी खरीद रहे हैं गाड़ी खरीद रहे नहीं आज अच्छा आज आपको बोलो गाड़, गाड़ी से कनेक्ट करें चलिए सर सर पार्टिसिपेंट्स सो दिल कीप ऑन ज्वाइनिंग so i think we should not waste the time and we should start the session yes uh, as okay. per your advice sir okay okay sir 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 baithe sir se pucho yaar haan ji sir theek hai theek hai sir so uh, good evening everyone i am uh, dr raman sharma assistant professor uh, professor at modana azad medical college and i am the chief oh. course coordinator for this uh, these academic lecture series so uh, on behalf of haryana ui i welcome you all uh in the in today's session of a case presentation of nasal mass so earlier we had a case presentation of chronic otitis media and safe csom and uh, uh, you uh, as i said earlier also you all are going to get a long case on unsafe csom and uh, today's case uh, that is on nasal mass you will you uh, most of you will get a short case of it so you are expected to know all the differential diagnosis of a nose or uh, a nasal mass uh, all the na uh, nasal polyposis or uh, nose and paranasal sinus tumors the examination of the nose and all the physiology physiological aspects and you should know how to diagnose a case and how to manage that case so uh, with this i would like to uh, invite our yes, examinee for today's session uh so examinee yeah. today is dr logi dr logi is a uh, second year resident at gmc chandigarh and uh, she is going to present a case today and uh, uh, the examiners uh, the experts uh, for today's session are dr uh, sps yadav sir sir, sir is a uh, uh, very uh, sir needs no introduction and uh, he is a great teacher mm -hmm. and uh, a great academician and uh, most of the senior faculty over here they they have been mentored by sir uh, since <coughs> some time so uh, and uh, our, uh, so i welcome uh, dr sp yadav sir uh, the second examiner for today's session is dr uh, surinder singhal sir sir is professor at uh, gmc chandigarh <laughs> and uh, sir uh, uh, is also luckily our uh, president of the haryana ay and he is also a very uh, great academician and uh, sir has a special interest in the uh, endoscopic nasal surgery so i welcome uh, both our senior faculties or the examiners for today's session so over to you sir now we can start the session dr logi has uh, joined the session thank you sir dr logi we can see your uh, presentation so you can request the examiners to start the case yes sir good evening everyone uh, sir may mm -hmm. i start my case? yes 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 you can start <clears throat> thank you sir uh, good evening everyone i am presenting a case of 26 year old male a uh, resident of chandigarh yes sir you continue logic continue yes, sure. uh, he presented with chief complaints of swelling in the left side of the dorsum of nose since one year uh, left nasal obstruction since one year history of present illness patient was asymptomatic one year back when he developed responding with swelling inside the left nasal cavity which was insidious in onset gradually progressive persistent painless there was no aggravating factor and it did not relieve with medications he also complains of difficulty in breathing through the left nose since one year which was gradually progressive persistent and did not relieve with medications awaaz kam aa rahi hai kuch lag raha hai kam lag raha hai uh sir should i continue yes of course yes, sir Uh, it was not associated with uh, nasal discharge nasal bleed post nasal drip a uh, pain in the swelling 
loss of sense of smell, excessive sneezing, snoring, facial pain or facial numbness, headache, watering from eyes, eye pain, visual disturbances, oral fullness, decreased hearing, neck swelling, loosening of teeth, and difficulty in mouth opening. Past history. Uh, the patient has a history of trauma to the nose in childhood, after which he uh, underwent suturing in the dorsum of the nose. Apart from that, there is no significant past history. Personal history. The patient, uh, the patient is a clerical uh, staff by profession. There is no history of addictions or any substance abuse. Logic, can you yes. tell us? Can you tell us something important in the personal history which is important regarding a swelling in the nose? A patient had a swelling in the nose yes. and there is something uh, occupational or as you mentioned, he is a clerical staff. Which Sir, uh, occupation. occupations are important from your point of view? Sir, uh, uh, if uh, there is exposure to sir, sawdust, okay. good work, sir. Okay. Technical exposure. Asbestos exposure, sir, occupational exposure. So it can lead to, uh, sir, uh, nasopharyngeal carcinoma. Any woodworkers, you said, that will be nasopharyngeal carcinoma or something else? Uh, squamous cell carcinoma, sir. Okay, okay. Sinonasal carcinoma, basically. Yes, okay. Carcinoma. Or it can be less than carcinoma, anything less than carcinoma? Yes. Um, Simple things, sir is asking simple things. <laughs> One of the commonest. The box the box the yes, sir. One of the commonest benign tumor of the nose. Associated with furniture workers or this wood workers sir, or whatever. Uh, sir, inverted papilloma, sir. Yes. Okay, continue. continue. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, other than uh, using nasal drops for uh, the uh, nasal symptoms, there was no other significant treatment history. Summary, a uh, 26-year-old male uh, presented with complaints of swelling in the left side of the nose and left nasal cavity and left nasal, nasal obstruction since one year with no history of nasal lead, nasal discharge, facial pain or facial numbness or any neck swelling with no relief in medications. Go to examination. Examination, yes, sir. So on local examination of the swelling, on inspection, there is around four into three centimeters swelling on the dorsum of the nose on the left side, extending superiorly below the medial canthus of the left eye and inferiorly blunting the nasofacial groove. Skin over the swelling appears smooth, not erythematous, there is no scar, sinus, or fistula. On palpation of the swelling, there is no local rise of temperature. It is non-tender. Uh, it is hard in consistency, irregular surface with bony depression in the middle. External framework of the nose, middle and lower one third of the dorsum of the nose appears deviated to the right side. There is around two centimeter vertical heel scar mark at the tip of the nose. Nasal vestibule, on examination of the left nasal vestibule, there is smooth mass visualized just above the vestibule. The right side vestibule appears normal. Uh, in both vestibules, there are no furuncles, fissure, crusting, stenosis, or atresia. Loji, any, uh, Loji just a minute. Uh, anything else you would like to mention in external examination? As you said, the swelling is just below medial canthus opai. Yes, sir. Some anatomical structure which is situated at the medial canthus that can also give rise to the swelling. Anything positive there? So nasal lacrimal duct, yes, sir. So lacrimal sac is there basically. Yes, so yes. it can be a swelling of the lacrimal sac. So is there any discharge from the punctum? No, sir. Uh, sir, there is no any history of uh, any discharge uh, from the punctum or watering of eyes, sir. There is okay. no as such. Okay, fine. And examination also doesn't show anything. Eh? Yes, sir. Okay. You have said that there is a irregular surface with bony depression. What do you mean by bony depression? Sir, uh, uh, it, uh, sir, uh, uh, on uh, palpation, sir, uh, in the middle of the swelling, 
so there's a depression uh, in the middle of the swelling so so you can you have uh, a, uh, the bony you have a bony depression matlab we are specific that there is a bony depression that means so can, the erosion of the bone yes sir, erosion of the bone sir hard you can feel the edges so once there is a erosion it cannot be hard both are contradictory once there is a erosion so either there is a nasal cavity or there is soft tissue then how can it be hard so the edges of the so depression it's bony sir <laughs> okay. sir while sir while palpating the nasal bone see felt some depression in the center of it rest of it is hard and in the center it is a, some uh, depression there so thinking it is a erosion by underlying swelling or a pressure necrosis whatsoever probably that is the case and that's all right but in that case it doesn't remain bony once there is a erosion yes yes okay okay proceed yes sir sir on anterior rhinoscopy examination left side the septum appears normal the floor is clear inferior turbinate is not visualized uh, there is a smooth mass seen just above the vestibule in the lateral part there is no pus point mucosa over the mass appears normal on probing of the mass it is non tender soft fluctuant it does not bleed on touch it is separate from the septum and the floor the nasal passage size is decreased due to swelling mucosa appears normal right side septum is deviated to the right side floor is clear inferior turbinate is normal the nasal passage size is, is decreased and mucosa appears normal what is the color of this uh, soft tissue swelling sir it uh, appears a pinkish it's a pinkish in color i think you have not mentioned pinkish in color then yes. normal mucosa mm -hmm. yes sir okay proceed proceed yes sir uh, sir a uh, functional test a cold spatula test there is decreased misting in the right and left side cotton wool test there is decreased movement in the right and left side and sense of smell it is intact in right and left side uh, doctor sir, sir uh... Yes, sir. Is it is it necessary to mention these tests in this scenario? There is an obvious mass. What are you trying to prove by doing these tests, or they are redundant in this case? You are a postgraduate. It's not an MBBS exam, exam, MBBS class. Yes, sir. It's an obvious thing. It is mostly done in DNS or any other, you know, this thing, but not in the nasal mass. cold spatula and all cotton test and all those things these are not done here yes, sir. we have th we have taught them a system of examination which starts from external examination. no uh, i back to defer dr singhal it is not it is they not they have to have they have to they have to don't, don't, i mean this is not trying to cover it's uh, these are uh, the things which can be ignored and as examiners i have been an examiner for donkeys years now these are not the accent once there is an obvious thing uh, it is not yes dns okay. wagere hota hai na so then we come to know but in uh, uh, this uh, type of scenario i think these are the redundant tests we should not be okay, and should not be mentioned ha wo sirf khana purti ke liye to bahut achhi baat hai form bharne ke liye achhi hai doctor doctor yadav aap bataiye sir if i am wrong okay no you are right but on the other hand you have done both the test and both the sides are blocked and swelling is only only on the one side yes sir so how will you explain that sir uh, because of the mass uh, the septum the nasal septum has been pushed towards the right side sir pushed means it totally blocked partial so there is right david you David's. said cotton wool test it is decreased cold yes, spatula sir. test you no know, Yes, sir. There sir, uh, erosion of the septum. No, sir. The septum only pushing. Yes, sir. But uh, because of the mass, it has been pushed towards the right side. Can so, you sir, hear us? Is there yes. erosion? Sir, no, sir. There is no erosion of the septum. So the septum appears normal, sir. 
So then on, uh, even in anterior rhinoscopy, also answer in probing, the, uh, the mass was seen uh, separate from the septum and the floor. Yes, carry on. Uh, yes, sir. Should I, sir, continue towards the next examination, sir? Sir, aapki awaaz nahi aari. Dr. Yadav, please mute your, unmute yourself. Unmute. Hey, yeah, it's okay now. No. Proceed. Yes, sir. So then there is examination of the ear and the oral cavity. Sir. Before Which going to the ear examination, uh, yes, you would like to see tenderness of the sinuses on palpation? And yes, which sir. sinuses you would like to palpate? Sir, the maxillary sinus. Where you palpate the maxillary sinus tenderness? Sir, in the sir, canine fossa, sir. Where is the landmark? Uh, sir. I think before, uh, <laughs> below the... Uh, Orbital foramen above medially uh, um, aperture of the nose, laterally this diagrammatic and uh, above this uh, uh, line of the teeth, there is a uh, tenderness. Yes. And it my tenderness, I think medial to the medial canthus. Yes, uh, my tip here is that we call this whole thing which Dr. Ranga has mentioned, this is a very, very good. Uh, uh, question he has asked. Tenderness is very important, but uh, instead of all go going to orbital foramen and all, we call it as malar eminence. That is simple. I think everybody understands and everybody will come to know what is a malar eminence. And we just palpate on that and the tenderness is elicited there. But as the name suggests, canine fossa, canine tooth, everybody knows just above that you palpate. Yes. Yeah, you can canine fossa. Canine fossa is also acceptable. Yeah. Acceptable. Acceptable. Dr. Loji, any other thing important which you have forgotten in the external examination? You have mentioned in the history that point, but you have not said in the examination. Uh, sir, I examination, sir. Not exactly. Eye examination, okay, that is fine, but something else. There sir, is a swelling, uh, sir, is it, uh, there's a swelling uh, which is uh, obliterating the uh, nasal facial uh, groove, okay. And so, anything else which needs to be checked? You have mentioned in your history that there is that thing is absent. <laughs> but still, you should check it. The teeth, uh, sir. Uh, Numbness, you have mentioned in your history. You remember? Numbness, yes, sir. You have to numbness. check your sensation. That was in history, but you should examine it. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Okay, continue. So then uh, it's uh, on the ear and sir, other examinations, sir. Uh, sir, in air examination, the preoral, pinna, and postoral region, the right and left side, it was both normal. External auditory canal, right and left side, it was clear. Tympanic membrane was intact on both sides, and uh, bilateral facial nerve function appeared to be normal. Sir, so oral cavity, mouth opening was adequate. The buccal mucosa, gingivo buccal sul sulcus, uh, retromolar trigon appeared normal. Base of tongue and floor of mouth is soft and uh, posterior pharyngeal wall is clear. So eye examination, uh, the eye, eye examination, it was uh, vision was uh, bilateral finger counting at three meters. External ocular movement uh, was full free and painless on both sides. In the neck examination, uh, so laryngeal contour was normal. There was a laryngeal crepitus was present and there was no any uh, significant lymphadenopathy. So uh, uh, apart from that, uh, so direct nasal endoscopy was done. Can we go to the differential diagnosis first before you go to uh, direct nasal endoscopy? 
because sir. on your clinical examination and history what are your possibilities sir uh, on the basis of clinical examination sir uh, on on the basis of just the history sir uh, the uh, differential diagnosis is uh, chronic invasive fungal sinusitis nasal dermoid cyst inverted papilloma or any malignancy of the nose or paranasal sinuses and there be osteoma because there is swelling and it is bony heart uh, yes sir so but uh, the there is also a corresponding swelling uh, in the nasal cavity sir which is soft and fluctuant sir okay what are the points and, in favor sorry sorry sir sorry please sir the history for how many years or months or since birth so just one year one year and no history of trauma no uh, sir he had a history of trauma in childhood but it was in the tip of the nose sir but there is just a scar mark at uh, on examination you have said it is fluctuating can it be meningocele meningomyelocele Sir, but uh, uh, it's just uh, the history is just for uh, one year. Patient may not be aware that it doesn't increase in size. There is a slow increase in size. How will you explain the fluctuant in all your diagnoses? Sir, uh, 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 meningocele, sir. Just it's like inverted papilloma, malignancy. Invasive fungal sinusitis, they are not fluctuant. Yes, sir. But, sir, uh, meningocele, sir, on uh, straining uh, or sir, any coughing, sir, like that, there is increase in size of the swelling. Don't be so adamant. You can say it can also be entertained as one of the diagnoses because you are not confirming the diagnosis on history. Yes, sir. May or may not be there, but the way you are talking, that means you are hundred percent sure that that it cannot be. It can be fluctuant. It can be. It may not be present since birth, or it may be very small in size after trauma. It has increased in size. It may not be. Finally, it may not be there, but you have to entertain such diagnosis also. Yeah, you can you can include this diagnosis. Absolutely, there is no doubt. Second thing is that Dr. Uma has asked in the message whether it is known as direct nasal endoscopy. Is there any term like that? I have never heard. I have never heard. That's what I was also thinking. Uh, I was also thinking, but Uma incited me to ask this question because I was contemplated that it shows my lack of knowledge of the current things. Probably, if I ask this question, so that proves that a stupid. There is no stupid question. A stupid question is that which is not asked. <laughs> no, sir. Yeah, that's sir. So, this was just a man. I asked this question. Direct is only laryngoscopy. Laryngoscopy. Uh, uh, direct nasal endoscopy is no term as far as I know. It is diagnostic, diagnostic. nasal nasal endoscopy. Thanks, Uma, for asking this uh, question. Okay, proceed. Okay. Uh, why, why have you kept the possibility of invasive fungal sinusitis, Dr. Loji, when there is no history of any nasal discharge, no history of any headache, the, no allergic uh, symptom? Sir, the bone, uh, sir, chronic, sir, it's chronic, and sir, a bone, according to the bone erosion. Mm -hmm. Is it bony erosion or expansion? So along, sir, there is uh, along with the expansion also, sir, there is also uh, the bone erosion, sir. In even in fungal sinusitis, erosion is very very rare. You may hardly see erosion. You think there is an expansile mass which is pushing the lateral nasal wall and nasofacial groove, and the inside it is fluctuant, soft on feeling with the probe. Can there be any other possibility? Any uh, mucosil, mucopiosil, something of that sort? No? Yes, sir. So you should have kept that, that possibility also. Yes. yes. And this is the usual site for that. Yes. 
<coughs> okay, inverted papilloma, what are your points in favor? Uh, sir, uh, sir uh, it is just a uh, uh, unilateral uh, nasal uh, mask. Sir, mask. Yes, sir. And uh, Sir, erosion. Also in some cases, no. Yes, sir. Can it be bilateral also? Inverted papilloma. Sir, it's uh, it can, sir, but it's very rare, sir. It's very rare. So why it is called inverted papilloma? Uh, sir. Um, Yes, answer that, Luji. Inverted papilloma. Why it is called so? And this is this question is for undergraduate student, not for yes, uh, so, I agree, sir. This actually the answer should be Luji from your side should be impromptu answer. Absolutely. Because whenever there is a nasal mass, inverted papilloma will be talked of. And whenever we talk of inverted papilloma, we'll ask why it is known as inverted papilloma. Why it is not simple papilloma? So your answer should be ready-made in this case. Your lack of answer shows that you are la having lack of confidence. Answer that. You know that. I know. You must have read it. Please answer immediately. <laughs> Sir, uh... In other words, okay. What are types of papilloma in the node? This is one of one type. There are other others also. There are three types. There are so many, but at least three. One is exophytic, second is inverted, and third is oncocytic. Have you had these names? Yes, sir. But this is this is the commonest out of all these. Yes, sir. So in still, still basic fundamental, sir. Question remains unanswered. That's why it is known we as inverted. Answer, then we should answer that question. Ah, वो तो है ही है सर, वो तो है ही है. But expected नहीं है ना सर. एक post graduate से who's presenting nasal mass. मतलब ये एक fundamental cardinal mistake हो गई है. इसने पढ़ा नहीं है जो इसको याद नहीं है। कोजाइज ओवर द पेपिलोमा, but in this case it is going inside, okay? But it goes up to what level? It does not invade which structure histologically? The olfactory epithelium. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. So that means she has not read about inverted papilloma in detail. Basement but there is something known as basement membrane. Sara hmm. depend usi ko hi karta hai. Can you name other names of inverted papilloma? Nidarian papilloma, sir, or uh, Ringer's tumor, hmm. or uh, cylindrical uh, papilloma. The book says that there are more than 50 yes. synonyms. What is the appropriate name of inverted papilloma, which is descriptive? There are transitional cell papillomas. This is not carcinoma virus. What are you talking? This is papilloma. Transitional cell papilloma, is that? Snidarian tumor, have yes. you? Snidarian papilloma, because it arises from the that membrane. The person who described, you are not the first to describe, but he described. Can there be something in the history of inverted papilloma, which you can diagnose the case even without examination? Uh, unilateral nasal obstruction, sir, age. Unilateral obstruction, you can see in so many cases, including the anus and polyps. 
sometimes they give history of some mass coming out during sneezing and it may be blood stain have you heard read somewhere blood stain no. uh, so remember it if there is such history Have you heard the question? Uh, no, sir. Sir, uh, you were sir paused for a while. Can it change into malignancy? Yes, sir. It can change into malignancy. Roughly percentage. Mm. Sir. Uh, So 10 uh, 10 percent it can change into malignancy or there may be carcinoma in situ and there may be associated synchronous or sir uh, i can't hear you sir probably there is a network problem there is a delay in sound They are disconnected, I think. Yes, sir. There is some network issue at there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. I think they have to unmute. Ah, now it's okay. What is the site of origin of this tumor? Usually it arises from the lateral wall of the nose, but sometimes it can be from the septum also. So what is the exact site from where it arises? Because that I have role in management also. Sir, uh, middle turbinate. No turbinate, middle meatus. Okay. Is it pedunculated? Have we got it a pedicle or no? No. Uh, no. That's <laughs> <laughs> it has got a pedicle, you have to, when you are doing, <laughs> so it is a pedicle. If you go to the exact site, you have to remove, remove the very small area of the medial wall. You don't have to go for medial maxillectomy. Have you seen any case? Yes, sir. What was the age of the patient? Sir, uh... Sir, it was mostly a female. Now, what is mostly? You have seen one case or so many cases? <laughs> Two or three cases, sir. Two or three. So, it is more common in males or females? Then females, sir. Sure? Yes, sir. Why? If you were telling it is more common in woodworkers and furniture workers. And <laughs> it is highly unlikely, at least in India, that... Exactly. Females are working in, in that field. And I think, she, I think sir, sir, she is telling her own experience. She has seen three females only, which were operated oh, yeah. in the last two years. She is just a second year student. So yeah. she is telling her experience rather than books. <laughs> so how, how will you treat such case? Sir, uh, sir, uh, medial maxillectomy is done. Very good. Endoscopic or open or whatever? Endoscopic was done. Sir, endoscopic was done. Uh, Endosc uh, endoscopic is better if you are if you are well conversant with that. So what is the chance of recurrence? It is notorious for recurrence, but not maybe 5 to 7 percent. But as I told you in the earlier, if you define the pedicle of the tumor and remove that pedicle, chances of recurrence will be minimized. Yes, sir. Sir, another 
sorry sir the key point to avoid recurrence is you have to identify the site of origin if the site of origin is taken care of then the chances of recurrence are less and that's why you went endoscopically or open uh, that will be seen yeah if you have laid the site with the covalator that will not reoccur yes. so you have made one more diagnosis major dermoid cyst so what is point in favor to so the external uh, so the external swelling dermoid is not bony hard you said that there is bony hard uh, so it is generally sir midline the swelling but it is not in the midline it may not be in the midline at the suture lines yes sir i don't think there is any why you have made the diagnosis of major dermoids it is present it was present since birth no sir just one year so dermoid are usually present Since birth. Yes, sir. Can it be angiofibroma also? Sir, uh, sir, it's unlikely because sir, uh, there is no history of sir uh, bleed, nasal bleed. So, in your opinion, nasal bleed is must in angiofibroma. What yes, is sir. the commonest symptom of angiofibroma? Sir. Uh, So nasal obstruction, sir. Nasal obstruction. Most of the cases, more than seventy percent of the cases, and bleeding is quite may be present in less than fifty percent of cases. So this is only one point. I think it uh, may be rare because uh, uh, angiofibroma is testosterone dependent growth. If the patient is male and age is of, how will you define angiofibroma? Okay, then that way you will be more convinced that it may be there. What is the definition of the angiofibroma? Sir, it's a benign. Uh, it's a benign uh, nasal uh, tumor uh, seen in sir adolescent uh, males. Sir, uh, sir, it arises from the sphenopalatine, sir, mostly foramen. some people are not even even now they are not convinced that it is a tumor and there are persons who have done genetic study also and some so how will you define exactly so it's a benign so vascular fibrous so tumor <laughs> mass sir uh, you read scott brown <laughs> you read scott brown or no yes sir so there is a very very good definition in scott brown it is a vascular swelling of the post nasal space in pre pubertal and adolescent males which has a tendency to unprovoked bleeding are you convinced with this this is not my definition <laughs> Scott Brown definition, and that the older edition, the newer edition, doesn't give this. Have you read Scott Brown? No. Sir, no. Uh, sir, was looking for the DNA, sir, but it was. You have not read the DNA. Sir, in, uh, not from Sir Scott Brown because sir, there was. You have read from which book? So there was internet. <laughs> so as in the definition, it is a it is a swelling of more post nasal space, and <laughs> you told your self it arises from the sphenopalatine foramen. So then, why it is so, still called called angiofibroma nasopharynx? Sir, because um, so it can arise uh, from there, and sir, it uh... it can arise from. Sir, sphenopalatine foramen, and uh, it can be it arises it from arises the sphenopalatine from... foramen. I am saying why it is still called angiofibroma nasopharynx. 
sir because uh, so the tumor it uh, it got uh... sir i think she is getting confused more now that is, that is the, that is the idea of actually the presentation of the case dr logi dr yadav had given you enough hints you go by the name j n p a juvenile what does it mean nasopharyngeal he is asking you why it goes because it gets extension most commonly into nasopharynx there is a lot of space lot of space nasopharyngeal angiofibroma is a histological diagnosis because it consists of that connective tissue which has got these two components so if you or correlate with this your definition will come automatically will you yeah. say it arises from the spinopalatine foramen hmm. yes Yes or no? Yes, sir. Which part of the sphenopalatine foramen? Sir, the superior, sir, superior. Posterior superior. Very good. So, how it extends? What are the roots of extension? Sir, uh, uh, from the sphenopalatine foramen, sir, medially. Uh, it can uh, come to the nasal cavity. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, posteriorly, it can go to the uh, nasal pharynx. So laterally, terigo, uh, uh, sir, terigo palatine fossa through the. Uh, so then, in uh, in infratemporal fossa. Okay. More laterally, where it will go. Sir, uh, more literally, sir, it's infratemporal. That you have told. Yes, sir. And it go beyond that. Sir, uh, so the, uh, uh, this sir. is important in the sense you get a theory question and if there is a case in your hospital, it will be definitely given to you as a short case or maybe long case. Can it go to cheek also? To the cheek, sir, from the infratemporal. This is lateral extension. Come back to medial extension. You have told what nasal cavity, yes, nasal pharynx, any other area it can go. So superiorly, uh, sir, uh, so it can go superiorly also, sir, to the uh, sphenoid, uh, sphenoid sinus. Mm -hmm. Good. So then, uh, sir, through the uh, uh, intraorbital uh, surface, it can go to the orbits. Very good. So then uh, it can go intracranial, uh, intra. What are various routes from where it will go intracranial? Sir, so, uh, through the superior orbital fissure, sir, it can go to the intracranial. Very good. Part. Any other? So direct extension, sir, because, uh, sir, uh, if there is uh, direct, uh, sir, uh, destruction, uh, sir, sir, if the disease is extensive, uh, it can erode the basic sphenoid and, sir, it can go to the intracranial. Or can it go through perm and lesterum also? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. What passes through the foramen lesson? Uh, uh, greater superficial. This is a big foramen, but hardly anything passes through it. <laughs> Maybe in its three veins. Have you seen foramen lesson in its skull? Yes, sir. There's a big foramen, but in recent state, that means in a living person, is this the foramen is there or something else is there in place of this? Mm -hmm. Correct.
and that is known as in, in recent state. It is covered by a cartilage. Okay. So carcinoma doesn't go through the cartilage. Cartilage perichondrium is resistant to carcinoma, but not to the angiofibroma. And in the definition, there is a term that is a locally destructive. So how it causes destruction, even destruction of the bone? What so is the by, mechanism? So by uh, so pressure. Any other? So, uh, uh, so true pressure, it's, it can uh, cause a uh, necrosis. If you tell pressure three times, <laughs> that will not be, <laughs> that will remain still pressure. <laughs> Any other mechanism? Simpler one. And the pressure doesn't cause necrosis. Okay, there is no necrosis in this case. Necrosis is invariably due to when the blood supply is hindered. Here, the blood supply is in plenty, rather in excess. And this higher blood supply can cause destruction. Yes. What is that known as? Yeah. So, hemoconcentration. Hmm? So, hemoconcentration, sir. Hemoconcentration is... Oh, yes, sir. Oh. Yeah. They, have you heard anything like high premic decalcification? No, no, sir. Okay. So what are, what are various theories of its origin? When we were students, there were at least 10 to 12 theories. But most of them have been dis disproved. So what is the present theory of its origin? Sir, bring... Uh... When did you take this case? Sir, um, sir, um, mon sir, Monday, sir. And today is Friday. There are five days you could have read. At least the, the diagnosis you have made, at least you have re read those or no. Since you are in second year, you are not supposed to know all the things. But five days is good enough to read a single case. What And what you are telling is correct. But you are not confident. Say it loudly what you were saying. You were saying something of branchial artery. Yes, you were saying no? This is a remnant of first branchial artery. Okay, you were right, but you were not confident. And how will you say that? What proves it that it can arise from the branchial artery, first branchial artery? Its blood supply comes from which artery? Sir, uh, sir, spin, uh, yes. sir, sir, external carrier, uh, sir, external no, carrier, internal carrier. Yes, sir. Okay. And they are remnant, they are remnant of first branchial artery. Second point. Which bones it destroys? Chalo, isko chode, thoda serious ho Which part of the base of skull is destroyed by the angiofibroma? Livus, pericopel. Terigoid plate, base of terigoid plates, and third, spinard. Okay. So when you remove a new fibroma, which part of the 
and your fibroma is easiest to remove. It's open or endoscopic or whatever. And how? So endoscopic. Whichever the which part of the angiofibroma, their extension. Now you have told so many things. It go to this, 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 this. So which one is the easiest to remove, and why? Sir, uh, uh, sir, it depends on the extension. It doesn't depend on. So don't say like this. There is the only one part which is easiest to remove and not nothing. It doesn't depend any on anything. Easiest to remove is the part which is in the sphenoid. Okay. You have not read, it doesn't matter. Why it is easiest to remove? Because it normally spreads submucosally. You have read this point, yes or no? But in case of sphenoid, it is not submucosal, it is directly into the sphenoid sinus. So even if you remove without seeing, you will remove it without damaging anything, maybe internal carotid artery or whatever, because it lies not submucosal, it is lying as such. Have you seen anybody removing angiofibroma? Yes, sir. अच्छा any other theory हो चलो ये तो main theory होगी और एक दो theory को जो और बताना चाहोगे आप जो लोग accept करते हैं अभी sir test उस sir Ringer's theory sir हाँ what is that Sir, uh, it, it states that the uh, tumor arises uh, from the periosteum of uh, sir, nasopharynx. You cannot say nasopharynx, the base of skull. Hmm? There are so many theories. They say from periosteum of this to pharyngobacillar fascia, or buccopharyngeal fascia, or chondrocartilage. But they all have been disregarded. But some say it is just like a tumor, like a carotid body tumor. Or what is known carotid body tumor is known as any other name? Mm -hmm. No, sir. No. Some say it may be a hematoma. So there are so many theories. These two, three, and previously there was the persistent stapedial artery. Even that was there, but that is a far-fetched imagination. Uh, have you read classification of this tumor? Sir, yes. Uh, sir, there is a Radowski classification. There are so many classifications. <laughs> What so which tell which is easiest to remember and which is helpful in management. The Redoski. Session, Redoski, and there are so many. Yes, sir. So in management, sir, Redoski is some more. Uh, At the name Pittsburgh University Medical School classification. That is supposed to be very simple to remember by any anyone, and it helps in management. Have you heard the name? It's worth University Medical School classification. Yes, sir. You told that they did deformity of the nose or nasal. There was deformity, no? Yes, sir. In the examination. Have you heard frog face deformity? Yes, sir. Have yes, you sir. heard the term frog face deformity? Yes, sir. Was it like that in your case? No, sir. No. Frog face deformity is seen in which disease? Or which? 
it can be seen in jna it can be in dna but it was described in which one commoner disease was described major polyps yeah. untreated major polyps have you heard no red had me <laughs> have you read have you seen any case of frog face deformity no what is the characteristic of frog face deformity sir uh, the, there is an increase in the intercanthal distance so there is widening of the dorsum dorsum yes sir dorsum of the nose and sir proptosis proptosis in later stage it may be there or any other diagnosis you can make differential diagnosis i mean Sorry, some malignancy. Sorry. Which malignancy? Abdominosarcoma. <laughs> Why will you say abdominosarcoma? What is the commonest common age for a abdominosarcoma? And sir, children, sir, abdominosarcoma. Why are you saying first it is very very rare? it is seen only usually in children usually means most of the time so why are you making this diagnosis i i don't say that it cannot be but it is highly unlikely what is the commonest malignancy of nasal cavity serous serous squamous squamous cell carcinoma So that should be the first one. Why you want to go to rare things? You are there is no history of pain in this case, or is there history of pain? It's pain, yes, sir. Pain is seen in which malignancy? Ultimately, pain may be in. in all the malignancy but usually in malignancy painless but there is one malignancy which is painful in nasal cavity also which one so in that case some nerves are being involved so ji which tumor involves the nerves sir is asking that pain means nerves are involved and so which tumor involves the nerves in nasal cavity esthesio neuroblastoma esthesio neuroblastoma no it starts with a but it's not esthesio neuroblastoma perineural spread do you get some hint yes sir perineural spread perineural spread okay what is the next uh, commonest malignancy after squamous cell carcinoma yes yes adenocarcinoma hmm adenocarcinoma hmm. not adeno adenoid cystic or adeno so adenoid cystic carcinoma has perineural spread na so in that case there will be pain have you taken biopsy of this case uh, you means biopsy sir, has been taken already or no sir uh, we haven't taken a biopsy so uh, fnc was taken you can show the diagnostic nasal endoscopy now okay yes, sir uh, this is a sir video of left diagnostic nasal endoscopy Sir, uh, uh, the smooth uh, sir mass uh, was visualized, and sir, uh, the scope could not uh, be negotiated further. It, uh, but uh, the mass was separate from uh, the septum as well as the floor. Sir, you can see the nasal pharynx. So, 
so you could not pass the scope superiorly laterally sir. and up to the nasopharynx that's right yes sir okay what about the right sided nasal endoscopy right sided sir, the right sided sir it was uh, the uh, there was right dns with spur sir uh, the floor was clear in for inferior turbinate was normal sir nasopharynx was also clear sir sphenoethmoidal recess was also clear and sir middle turbinate in third class middle turbinate was normal and sir middle meatal area was also clear yes, sir it was just the left side which was affected have you shown the ct pictures yes sir as you already said, sorry sir uh, dr yadav good evening sir good evening abhi jaipur se lota hu to main der se join kiya sir are neend mein aa gayi yahi bahut achhi baat hai good evening sir good evening dr pasik everyone everyone thoda sa respite do isko pani wani pilao ladki ko yaar sir sir hamare paas hai pani ka koi kya kare dr dr pasi aisa hai ki dr yadav is a griller ग्रिल ग्रिल करेंगे अच्छा है ना इस टाइम पे ग्रिल हो जाए तो एग्जाम में दे विल बी यू नो दिस आई वांट टू से वन थिंग टू लॉगी दैट इफ शी रिकलेक्ट्स एवरीथिंग दैट डॉक्टर यादव हैज आस्क्ड हर शी विल नेवर फेल इन हर पीजी एग्जाम फॉर ए नेजल मास हां बिल्कुल एब्सोल्युटली एब्सोल्युटली इट शोस इट शोस दैट हम लोग कहां से गुजरे होंगे जब डॉक्टर यादव हमारे रजिस्ट्रार थे <laughs> हमारे तो हमारे तो हाथों पे साले हथौड़े पड़ते थे जब हम इंसिजन गलत देते थे है ना मैं तो सर कुछ ज्यादा कर नहीं रहा हूँ नहीं सर वो आप लोगों का आशीर्वाद है बाकी तो सब ठीक है एनी वे यहाँ पे क्वेश्चन पैनल से भी एक है डॉक्टर पासीज देयर डॉक्टर यादव इज देयर डॉक्टर सुरेंद्र सिंगल इज इट नेसेसरी टू डू नेजल एंडोस्कोपी राइट लेफ्ट साइड में लेफ्ट साइड में तो आपको पता है जाएगा ही नहीं आपका स्कोप नहीं वो देखना तो चाहिए <coughs> कुछ तो जो भी जितना दिख सकता है हाँ, मतलब वो खाना पूर्ति करने के लिए है बिकॉज अदरवाइज अगर आप ज्यादा इंसिनेट करोगे सपोज इट इज एन एनजीओफाइब्रोमा इट विल स्टार्ट ब्लीडिंग Because I, I always compare with placenta previa. I am an old timer. कि भी placenta previa को कभी भी उंगली डाल के एग्जामिन नहीं करना है अगर करना है तो उसको ओटी में ले जाना है अंडर प्रेपरेशन ऑफ जनरल एनस्टीजिया इसी तरह एनजीओ फाइब्रोमो को आज तक एनजीओ फाइब्रोमा अगर मैंने सस्पेक्ट किया है तो मैंने उसको और कुछ ज्यादा नहीं किया सीटी के बाद ही मैंने उसको फिर ओटी में ले जाके जो कुछ करना है वो वही करना है अधिकतर उसको नेजल एंडोस्कोपी में नेसेसरीली टच करना जरूरी थोड़ी है उसको नहीं इसमें जैसे था ना कि इसमें हम क्वेश्चन इसी से ही पूछ रहे थे कि भाई वाई इट कांट भी ऊपर से क्यों नहीं दिखा नीचे से क्यों नहीं दिखा वो बिल्कुल जो एंड ऑन दिखता है व्यू हम अंदर जाना ले जाना शुड नॉट बी डन मेरा ये कहना है बस ऑल ऑल सर सर आई थिंक डायग्नोस्टिक एंडोस्कोपी इज अ मस्ट यू नो सो मेनी थिंग्स अबाउट द मास यू कैन नो द अटैचमेंट यू कैन नो द वास्कुलरिटी इट नीड नॉट बी प्रेस्ड एज डॉक्टर पासी हैज सेड सो डायग्नोस्टिक एंडोस्कोपी हैज टू बी डन बिफोर यू कंटेम्पलेट एनी अदर सर्जिकल प्रोसीजर नहीं मेरा कहना है यू माइट टेक अ बायोप्सी इफ लुकिंग अ बेहाइंड ट्यूमर नॉट अ वास्कुलर ट्यूमर नहीं बायोप्सी तो तब लोगे व्हेन यू आर वेरी वेरी श्योर अगर एक जुवेनाइल केस है उसमें एक नेजल मास है अनटिल प्रूव्ड अदरवाइज भैया मैं तो ये कहता हूँ कि उसको बायोप्सी तो नहीं करना चाहिए क्योंकि हमने हमने इतने चालीस साल में हमने सफर किया है वी विल नॉट डू ओके चलो प्रोसीड ओके ओके डिस्क्राइब द सिटी स्कैन सर सर यू कैन सी दिस इज द कोरोना सेक्शन एंड सर दिस एक्सेल सेक्शन Uh, sir there is a uh, uh, there is a lytic lesion on the left side uh, sir involving uh, sir it's involving the frontal process of maxillary bone sir uh, anterior medial wall of maxillary sinus uh, sir inferior turbinate sir attachment and the adjoining nasal bone sir uh, the lesion is uh, multiloculated uh, it is also causing expansion of the involved bones with internal and uh, peripheral sir septations <laughs> Mm 
you don't have other cuts you were having so many cuts lozi so this is the so this is the so this is the lesion in uh, uh, coronal cut sir okay you read the report what they have written radiology yes, there is a good ct scan otherwise सर सर रिपोर्ट में एंड में ये होगा कोरिलेट क्लिनिकली सर एंड ऑफ द रिपोर्ट विल बी प्लीज कोरिलेट क्लिनिकली ओके रीड आउट देयर इज अ एक्सपेंसाइल लाइटिक लीजन ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ द नेजो लेबियल रीजन मेजरिंग 3.3 इनटू 3.3 इनटू 2.2 सेंटीमीटर इन्वॉल्विंग द फ्रंटल प्रोसेस ऑफ मैक्सिलरी बोन anterior medial wall of maxillary sinus anterior attachment of inferior turbinate and adjoining nasal bone so the lesion is multiloculated with cystic attenuation causing expansion of involved bones with internal and peripheral thin septations and areas of uh, bony thinning and rarefaction any diagnosis they have written so they haven't uh, given any uh, diagnosis in the ct scan sir uh, that's what i was saying <laughs> that's what i was saying correlate <laughs> clinically was this case discussed in the department also no no and it wasn't discussed so hey, here here nahi nahi sir here she is wrong it ha would have been discussed doctor abhi abhi unhone bola hai doctor surinder ne ki you are having so many cuts तो बेटा क्यों it appears like this na but but it still matlab you cannot diagnose with this ct scan this is epidermal yes bone. yes you are right sir yes it looks more of a fibrous and maybe slightly ground glass appearance that that is seen in fibrous dysplasia but that is not localized like this i i had kept the possibility of fibrosis lesion as first ha ah, fibrosis we would mean that they have written so many name fibrous yeah. dysplasia ossifying fibroma fibrous yes. osteoma yes. yes sir they are one and the same thing variant of the dead so, sir surprisingly we have got in the last about 6 6 months we have got about four cases and the diagnosis came out to be ossifying fibroma only okay, that that is a clinically first possibility uh, i mean keeping the ct scan finding in mind yeah, yeah absolutely after absolutely scan, right yes. that, that diagnosis comes uh, at... after ct scan yes agreed and another another diagnosis could have been entertain aneurysmal bone cyst that is very they are not seen in this area seen in long bones but in that case is it a contrast and us or no yes sir so there is not much announcement no so it's good for the patient it can be easily <laughs> removed <laughs> problem and no recurrence the laser profile surrender sir do we have the clinical picture of the patient yes sir loji show the first slide clinical picture of the patient for the external deformity yes this one sir actually she had shown me the presentation she had not discussed with me the case as dr bhargava was saying that it was discussed <laughs> you have presented a very crisp and good presentation so don't feel bad you are only in second year and you have just been second year one yes in the department only one year na yes yes sir that way you have done very well but you can do better i know you are capable of doing better and that will only be if you read not by just wishing not by wishful thinking you have to read and not depend on dr surender he will tell some <laughs> so many things you have to read yourself also 
you are in a position that you have to teach even undergraduate students so you have to read also but your presentation was quite good i am really matlab happy with your presentation but it could have been better you are capable of doing better and it's a good case rarely maybe i have not seen a, a case in so many years yes. Sir, I think that now she can explain. There was a depression while palpating externally. You were ah, asking no, that time. Be, yes, definitely it can ah, be. So these findings can be explained. Whatever she described on inspection. That finding was correct. Yes. Ah. Sir, Surender, may I ask you one thing? Yes, sir. Uh, why the third year uh, student did not present? Sir, third year वाले अभी just pass out हो गए हैं. So they were not available. So we had to. So first ask. Third year बोला जाएगा ना? हाँ जी. सुरेंद्र आपके यहाँ एग्जाम हो गए नहीं सर एक बैच हमारा एक बैच बीच में मिस हुआ ना कोई तो दूसरा दो बैच ही थ्री मंथ के गैप पे आए हुए हैं अच्छा 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 ओके दस थ्री मंथ के गैप पे आए हुए हैं दो बैच क्योंकि जनरली एग्जाम जून में हो रहे हैं हमारे यहाँ जैसे हमारे एग्जाम हो चुके हैं सर हमारे एग्जाम हो गए थ्री मंथ बैक वाले हैं उनसे थर्ड ईयर वाले से कराना चाहिए था नहीं मतलब ये दो बैच हैं जो इकट्ठे ही आए हैं सर तीसरा तो निकल चुका है वो नहीं सर सी हैज टू रीड नहीं नहीं कोई नहीं देखो सुरेंद्र ऐसा है कि ये हमारा एम एम ही है ये जो डॉक्टर पासी आप लोगों ने शुरू किया है ओ आई हरियाणा ने एम ये है कि हम इनको ग्रिल कर करके देखो इसमें किसी बच्चे को डिप्रेस होने की जरूरत नहीं है मैं मैं अपना एक छोटा सा बताता हूँ कि जब मैं फाइनल बिल्कुल एग्जाम से दो महीने पहले हमारे यहाँ तो डॉक्टर कोहली बहुत कम क्लास लेते थे एक उन्होंने क्लास ली थी पोस्ट रिक्वायर्ड ग्रोथ की थी और मैंने प्रेजेंट किया था तो उसमें सब कुछ प्रूवन था बट ही स्टिल आस्ट मी द डिफरेंशियल डायग्नोसिस पोस्ट रिक्वायर्ड ग्रोथ है उसमें डिफरेंशियल डायग्नोसिस अब क्या क्या बताओगे उन्होंने मेरे को डॉक्टर यादव भी बैठे है सबके सामने मेरे को एक किस्म से बिल्कुल ही जस्ट मतलब लरिंजल स्क्लोमा के ऊपर जो उन्होंने मेरे को उड़ाया है उस दिन उस दिन उड़ाया उसके बाद से आज का दिन है मिकुलिक सेल मेरे दिमाग में हमेशा रहते हैं है ना तो ये सब चीजें हैं ये हम लोगों की ड्यूटी है और इनको बच्चों को बुरा नहीं लगना चाहिए डिप्रेस नहीं फील होना चाहिए ये आइडिया ये है इसका करने का कि भाई हम इन लोगों को ऐसा पॉलिश करें कि साउथ नॉर्थ कहीं के भी कॉलेज के साथ हो वेरी वेल नहीं वो कोई बात नहीं है सर शी इज नॉलेजेबल ऑल्सो सब कुछ है अब ये हम डॉक्टर यादव के क्वेश्चन तो आज भी मैं ना आंसर कर सकूं तो ये किस खेत की मूली है ये लड़की अब तो मतलब वही है फिर ऑल हैव लर्न टूडे थोड़ा सा ना अभी एग्जाम उग्जूम डेज आ रहे थोड़ा सा फ्रिक्वेंसी इसकी ना थोड़ी सी रिड्यूस कर दो क्योंकि क्योंकि वो हम लोग थोड़ा सा फिर इन्वॉल्व होना थोड़ा मुश्किल हो जाता है आजकल जैसे आज भी मैं कॉन्फ्रेंस मिस किए शाम की हमारे आर्मी हॉस्पिटल में सर हेड एंड एक कॉन्फ्रेंस चल रही है बट इस क्लास के लिए मैंने कहा वो है आज मिस कर देते हैं ये क्लासेस तो जरूरी है के लिए नहीं नहीं बहुत बहुत जरूरी है आई रियली अपोलोजाइज फॉर दैट बट सर एक्चुअली दिन ऑलरेडी बीन मेड and uh, we have already discussed with most of the faculties uh, about ठीक है if everybody agrees if everybody agrees my vote my vote go, goes towards the majority main dal badlu hu dal badal liya maine dr bhargav i discussed the same thing with dr ranga last week acha this exam time should we do it so we reached to a concession that we should continue it Okay. Because in exam, it is more important. They fine, should not. Fine, fine, fine. Exam with time, it may not be done because the, the third year student will not be attending. It's quite possible. Uh, sir, second year students, thoda sa mushkil ho jata hai. Aapko pata hi hai, sir. Students ka hal kya? Sorry, I am. I am being very frank. Um, second year students se itna kuch expect nahi. But anyway, sir, grilling is important. Let them learn like this. That only. We will continue with this. Thanks. Yes. 
So, so we got uh, 91 participants, sir. Uh, today. 91, it's very good. It's a good, uh, good number. And uh, so, uh, sir, uh, uh, should we call it today uh, for today? Okay. Or do you want to continue with the presentation? We have 10 to 15 yeah. minutes more. Good Dr. Okay. Yadav can call it a day. वाली मीटिंग कर रहे हैं सीनियर मोस्ट पर्सन ही ओनली कैन डॉक्टर बाहर गांव ने बोला ना कि मैंने मिस किया और ये ज्वाइन कर लिया तो ये तो बहुत अच्छा हुआ है एक तो स्मार्ट आदमी होना चाहिए था ना इसमें सर देखो मैं स्पेशल कुर्ता पहन के बैठा हूं मैं वीडियो स्टार्ट करता हूं इसलिए वीडियो नहीं है कि आज डॉक्टर यादव है तो सलब अपना वो करो तैयारी करके बैठो पूरी धार्मिक तैयारी भी होनी चाहिए पुराने धार्मिक जो भी तैयारी है एकेडमिक जो होना था वो हो गया अभी तो गिलास वगैरह भी रखा है कि नहीं इट वाज वेरी नाइस ऑफ यू एंड डॉक्टर पासी जो इवन इफ ज्वाइनिंग लेट इट वाज नाइस एंड इट वाज रियली गुड कंट्रीब्यूशन फ्रॉम बोथ तो वो ले रहे हैं ठीक है वहां नहीं पार्टी में नहीं गए तो घर में पार्टी करने से कौन मना कर सकता है सर नो बडी म्यूकोसिल में निकलता वो फ्लूइड हां किस में निकलता है सर म्यूकोसिल म्यूकोसिल में म्यूकोसिल में तो पता नहीं सर कोई और मतलब कहीं और से तो निकाल ही देते हैं सर उसको <laughs> तो भाई कहीं से भी निकाल दोगे फौजी आदमी हो कहीं पे भी आए हां सर हम तो कहीं भी छेद कह देते ना गोली मार के छेद कर दो उसके बाद निकलता रहेगा तो अपना तो वैसे भी दे आर स्मार्ट रेस्ट ऑफ द लॉट्स कोई नहीं सर ठीक है थैंक यू सर थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू वेरी मच टू ऑल द सीनियर फैकल्टी एंड थैंक यू डॉक्टर सो थैंक यू डॉक्टर लॉन्ग व्हेन द फाइनल सर्जरी इज डन द वी शुड वी विल अपडेट